Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to get the best Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Sega Master System and Sega Game Gear emulator on your PSP. So this works on any PSP with custom firmware installed. So on your PSP, all you want to do is scroll over to USB connection, connect your PSP to your PC, and I will show you guys what to do next. Over on your computer, I will leave a link to Master Boy in the description of this video. It will be on PSP Scene Beta, so you must sign up with an account if you wish to download it. But I will probably leave a mirror link in the description so you guys can just get it off Google Drive. But this emulator doesn't just support Game Boy and Game Boy Color, it also supports the Sega Master System and the Sega Game Gear. So it's a really cool emulator. The one that we are going to be using is an unofficial one, but it was um, the latest version. It's version 3.1, and this one's just got some improvements so all you guys want to do download link is right here you can just click on it I'm just going to right click save link as and I'm just going to save it in my downloads folder so once it has finished downloading you can head over to your PC's downloads folder and just find the zip file in there so I've also got all of the ROMs which I want I've got a Sega Master System ROM Game Boy Color original Game Boy and then Sega Game Gear so with the emulator get the zip file right click and then select extract here now you can simply delete the zip file and delete the text document that comes with it. Select all your ROMs and just drop them into the PSP folder. Now just drop them in the games folder. And now just drop them into the emulators folder. So now we are just going to put our ROMs into the correct folders. So our original Game Boy and our Game Boy Color ROMs will go into the ROMs GBC folder. And then our Sega Game Gear and Sega Master System ROMs will go into the ROMs SMS folder. So it's entirely up to you where you guys choose to get your ROMs from. But um, once you've got them, that is exactly what you need to do. So now just make sure our PSP or PSP Go is connected. So what we're going to do is simply just drag the PSP folder and literally just copy it across to our PSP. So just give it a few seconds and when it's copied across you can just check inside your games folder. So here is my one version 3.1 and as you can see everything copied across. So that is literally it for the PC. You can now disconnect your PSP and I will show you guys what to do next. Back over on your PSP we can now go and find the emulator on our memory card or system storage. So here is mine. It's called um, Emu Master Modded Version, version 3.0. I believe it should be 3.1 though if we click on information. But all you guys want to do is simply just press X to load it up. So just on the home screen of the emulator, it's fairly simple. We've got several options. We've got file, save states, so you can actually save games on these. Video, you can actually um, change some settings in here. We will be doing that in a minute. Sound music player so you can listen to mp3 files if you want to uh, we've got controls uh, miscellaneous so this is like clock speed and stuff like that and plugins and then just back onto files so the first thing we're going to do is actually just change the um, video settings because we want to make it full screen so if you go into render and just press x you can actually put the scaling on full screen right here press x what this does is just puts the roms in full screen now we're just going to go back so press x on load rom now you want to find the emulator folder, so if I just go back, here is mine, it should be somewhere on this list, here is mine, emu master, you press X to go forward, triangle to go back, so let's press X to go into it, now we need to go in, choose a ROM, so we're going to load up a Game Boy Color ROM first, press X on the folder, and let's choose Pokemon Silver, so just press X, and just give it a couple of seconds, and it will start loading up, so the games um, work perfectly fine, there's no sort of like, issues um, there's like perfect working sound and no sort of like screen glitches or anything like that so you guys can see that um, Pokemon Silver works perfectly fine so if you guys want to get back to the main menu all you have to do is press left and right at the same time and we can actually load a different ROM so let's just try Pokemon Red and you guys can see that Pokemon Red um, works perfectly fine as well. Now it's actually circle for um, A and then X for B, so you can just press circle to go forward. So let's just press left and right. Let's test out another game. We're going to press triangle and we are going to load a um, Sega Master System game. Let's load up Mortal Kombat. 
See, as you guys can see, they're actually loading very fast. As soon as you press X on the ROM, it pretty much loads up straight away, which is another really cool feature. Now let's just load up the last ROM, which is Sega Game Gear. So let's go on SonicTheHedgehog2.gg for Game Gear. And all of the games work perfectly fine without any kind of issue. So that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.